What did you do this weekend? I actually did stuff. What the hell? Tell me what you did. What is that? Uh, Kim and I went to see Jim Blossoms last night. Oh my god! At the Park Casino. I've seen them. We went. Really? I think so. They played at Mohegan Sun once. Yeah, we went and we we actually sat in in a gig with like hundreds of people. Oh my god! Oh yeah, because of your thing. Yeah, my thing. It was good. It was like we did really well. We like His walked into a, went, we walked into a <laughs> casino and we sat and watched a whole show and we had a nice time. Oh my god! Might have even made some new friends too. Really, you met people? Everyone there was really old except the couple <laughs> next to us. They were like our age and they weren't drinking and they were like sharing a burger. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. You guys seem were chill. You in like, it was like a dinner type situation. No, it was all seated. Oh, it was like a, just standing, order. eating a burger. He snuck a chicken burger in. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like these are our people. Oh my God. So I, I asked for his number <laughs> <laughs> and then we texted a little. Oh anyway, mm-hmm. I got a 3D printer. Oh, okay. And I'm glad I went through all of my story I got you something. Oh no! This really? This is the first thing I printed that wasn't a baked in like preset. I thought you were about to say this is the first gift I've ever given you on no. camera. I was like, I think that's this true. This is too. the first thing I printed that wasn't like baked into the thing I downloaded. Is it printed. nice? It's nice. Okay. I like it. And you're gonna like it. <laughs> I'm so worried. I never Why? know because I, I never know with you. Who? Uh, who is it? <laughs> who is it? <laughs> it's Zelda. That's the first thing that came up when I searched Zelda. A naked t- out yeah. Zelda? T- out Zelda. <laughs> There's more detail than just that, but it's 50% scale. Because it's 50% if it was skin. It's I was like, no, it's twi- 100% skin. It's supposed to be twice as big and there'd be a lot more detail in other places, but you can't really see it. Look harder. Look harder. No, I've seen. I like her boots. Love to Good. get Kim a pair of those. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> Replicate the outfit. Oh, you said boots. 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 Yes, okay. Boots. All right. Jesus Christ. Welcome to the podcast, everybody. How you doing? Good to see you. Good start today. <laughs> Do you want to redo it? Are you okay no. with that? I thought that was fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Might have to bleep out because yeah. the first minute of the episode. You know? said tease. What printer did you get? Uh, the a Prusa Mini. I'm going to get a lot of comments now. People are, oh, that's a bad one. Can you ever do anything nice for me? <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> this is nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Look at the detail, though. These things are amazing. That took two hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Speaking of detail, yeah. we're about to go into a lot of detail. We have a lot to talk about We, today. we do. Uh, well, I want to get into the PlayStation VR, the second okay. one, number two. But we before talk about that, that uh, the Wii U and the, and the 3DS, two consoles that I very rarely get to talk about anymore, are closed and shut. Yeah, they're shutting down. This is something that I feel like we've been talking about for a year now. Nintendo gave us a huge so, lead-in for this. This is why we've been talking about it for a year. So last year, I was talking to Hannah about this last night, but I was wrong. Queen but Shocking, I was, I was wrong. Title. So la- last year, mm. at around this time, mm. they took away the ability to use your credit card. Oh. And that's everybody was like they're shutting down the eShop and like made is all that their still videos. gone. So you can only use uh, eShop gift cards. I, I guess. believe just whatever credit you okay. have or eShop gift cards. Okay. That's what you have to use now to buy whatever. So you can't put your credit card in this 3ds that we have here. Okay. You have to already have credit, but you can buy credit on like Amazon and stuff. Mm-hmm. So you can still buy stuff. It's the same as the Nintendo Switch. It's all just the eShop. Right? I believe so. Yeah, you just buy an eShop card. I believe so. I believe so. So if you have money, oh, there you go. You have money on your Nintendo Switch. I don't know because a lot of stuff doesn't transfer between it's Wii It's Nintendo. U. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We should know. We should know. This seems important. Can you Google, <laughs> is Wii U and Nintendo Switch credit transferable? Yeah, isn't it the same card? Like, isn't, isn't, wasn't it the really card the is the same, but we're wondering, like, if you oh, loaded you. it onto your Switch, for example, and then opened up the Wii U on your account, is I'm, the credit there? I'm pretty sure it would know. be. We could look it up. I have, I put my jacket on the ground like, for Zim, and oh, he don't. He dude, he looks it. like he's about to pee on he it. He almost. He's not gonna pee. Doll is peeing everywhere right now. Oh my god. She's uh, he's she's good, she's become a lady. Oh, she's in heat. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, she's peeing. She's peeing everywhere every That's two seconds because she's cramping. Heat is a She's pee. cramping and she thinks she has to pee like oh, all the time. Oh, that happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, guys. <laughs> Is all Zim 
does is he thinks his legs are gone, so he rolls around with no legs. <laughs> <laughs> Do we get an answer on that? What's, what's stolen time right at the start here? Uh, yes. Um, you go to your Nintendo account, uh, select merge funds from Nintendo 3DS. And oh, so it's a whole process. You gotta like merge for moving it from Switch to the to the. I doubt. Oh, for, I doubt on you here can go you back select with. merge funds. If you have okay. to merge, I don't think it's transferable. Should we have E put ten dollars on his Nintendo Switch and then just see if we, we can do it on here? Yeah, I don't care. That would be interesting. Are you logged in here? Yeah, Probably. he's logged yeah, in. Yeah, this yeah. is his stuff. That would be interesting. Go good. grab your Switch. That's a lot of work. That's a little bit. Of work. Yo, you want me to do it on the Switch? You can do it on the e shop on there. We're faffing about. We're faffing. Well, this is important. People are gonna. We're gonna talk about a bunch of games that people need well, to well, get. Well, you two figure that out, and I'll tell them what we're about to out, talk about. And then they're gonna. You're gonna need to figure out how to even buy these things. So the Wii U and the 3DS are closing at the end uh-huh. of March. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So now is the time to dive into those consoles if you want to keep them and you want to keep using them in the future and grab some of these games digitally yeah. before you can't anymore. So there's two reasons why this is important. The first yeah. one is there's a lot of great 3DS and yeah. Wii U games that don't have physicals and aren't anywhere else. Uh, correct. Yes. And also just good in general. A lot of stuff you can just get physical. Yeah. So, but there's a lot of virtual console stuff yeah. that you literally can't oh. buy at all anymore. Yeah. I mean, if you're super young, mm-hmm. um, you know, if you if you were born in the 2000s, what point was I trying to make? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to come up with a fun like thing for being really young and I forgot what point I was trying to make. It's not fun being young. Oh yeah, is. the virtual console, this is the point I was trying to make, isn't like how it is on Switch now where we only have a, f- a handful of games for free. They gave us everything and it was like They cheap. gave us a lot of stuff on the, on the there Wii, There was so much on the virtual and, consoles. And, Wii U virtual and there are games yes. that you will not see on the Switch. When the Switch came out, people were upset it didn't have virtual console right out the mm-hmm. gate, and then they got Nintendo Switch Online, people were upset that they couldn't own these games. They had to pay a subscription service, and it was a small library of games. Now, it's pretty big and pretty awesome. I've been playing a lot of the Nintendo Switch Online stuff. A lot of games I never would have played otherwise. So I'm kind of happy that it's got a lot of stuff. I talk with my hands. <laughs> I know I like it. It's very expressive. I talk with my foot. I shake it constantly. Point at people with foot. <laughs> no, I've been playing a lot. Of st- so I like that there's like a, a curated library. Also, I got emulators so I can play other I stuff. Know. And I have all of my old that's retro real, consoles. That's the real. So I, I have so many options moral to play Moral of this stuff. episode is, you know, we're going to talk about a lot of games, but just buy an emulator and download them <laughs> illegally. You know what I or mean? Or use it on your just computer. Grab them. Just grab them. Uh, but games like... The Pokemon games. Yeah. You can't buy those anywhere. The retro Pokemon no. games. You can't buy those anywhere right now. This is literally the only place you can buy them right now. This is, I mean, yes. This is the one that I wanted to have like a little asterisk next to. Because we're going to go through a list of games or ones that we think would be cool to grab. The Pokemon games, I would say, I w- well, I would say wait. But by the time you watch this, we've already had the Pokemon Direct. There is yeah. a there is a rumor. Is there a rumor? Is it strong? It's, no. No, I, I'm i pretty... Uh, there was something uh, you said. So there's a chance that they could announce game the Game Boy games mm-hmm. for the Switch. The yeah. Pokemon Game Boy games. Yeah. A lot of people for are speculating new that because they Game just... Game Boy Color. Nintendo Switch Online. Yeah. Yeah. Because they announced the Game Boy Color and Nintendo Switch yeah. Online, now they're having a Pokemon Direct, so it just makes sense. Yeah. I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> I don't think so either, and we've talked about it recently because they yeah. can they can just sell them again. There's yeah. no reason to give them for free. Yeah, that's. I think that at most, you know, it'd be funny. What? How so, wrong we are? <laughs> no, that we have several Pokemon games on Switch, the newest, greatest iterations. You know, mm. if oh, they so put good. if they put red and blue on the Switch for if for free, the best Pokemon games on Switch would be free. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The most quality. Uh, my favorite, I think, might be Heart Gold. Don't pay attention. To that. I can't help it. I'm so nosy. I always want to know let what's them, happening behind them, the camera. The crew. Hot what gold. What about Soul Silver? I haven't played Soul Silver. Isn't it the same? It's probably the same exact. It's game. The same, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those might be the 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 best ones on the Switch when they come out. But I think that at most we'll get all the retro stuff in one app. You know, their own app, mm-hmm. not the uh, virtual console. I don't think, I think there's some weird Nintendo bullshit going on where it doesn't count. Like, 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 like they don't want to have their, the funds separated, like the Nintendo Switch Online funds. I think Pokemon Company knows that their stuff's more valuable. No, it's way more valuable. And you probably have to pay for the app or something. 
Yeah. Or pay for the, I don't know. You'd well, have to pay some money has to go. Yeah. Into they're going to want more money yeah. and they know they can get a lot. They, yeah. There'd be a lot of value in putting the original Pokemon. Game I mean, like they that. can literally hypothetically remake an old Pokemon game. Like, I don't know, Ruby, for example, but like remake that, it really bad and have it look awful. <laughs> On and purpose? still sell on and purpose. still sell millions of copies. So, so why wouldn't they? This is going to be out of date already. But what do you think they're going to have this year? Do you think that they're going to do a remake? Because it's about time. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think I think we already mentioned it. It is about time, but I think they're going to focus. I mean, there could be another team, but I think they're going to focus on the DLC for. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. I almost said Sword and Shield, Violet and Scarlet. Yeah. I think there again there's a potential that they might release the games the old games in like a in like an app or something. Well, there's always. I mean I we talked about wanting online. black and white remakes so, which I think has to be the next ones. There is there was a lot of news last week about uh how people hacked into uh the Nintendo Switch online app. This is what you told me. Yes, and they got um they got red and blue on there. They just put the ROMs on there. You can put they, any ROM. It's just an emulator. I don't understand how people do this. So they put the ROMs of Red on Blue. Just in the app. Into yeah. the Nintendo Switch online app. Yeah, because it's just an emulator. So you can put whatever ROM you want. It's on just it. an emulator? It's just an emulator. The app is just an emulator? It's just an emulator. The app is just an emulator? It's just an emulator. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an emulator. I didn't know that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so. How lazy. They, well, I mean, how else would you do it? How would I do it? Yeah, how would you do it? Tell me about <laughs> yeah, it. Here's how I would do it. <laughs> no, so it's just an emulator. So it also has link cable support because like we played Mario Kart. Well, we didn't. Me and Jackson did. Yeah. We played Mario Kart. We played Kart. 007. We played 007. That's a little different. We could play Mario Kart and all this other stuff. It's just a link cable. So the so link cable so functionality just works. So They're virtually doing just the whatever mechanics were involved with the link cable back in the 90s. They are just digitally reusing that. They remade, they emulated it. They're emulating the leak. So you are, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so naturally, Pokemon trading works. And people love That is not that Damn mind. That is not naturally to me. That is so wild. <laughs> Let me restate this. So they put, they hacked a Switch and put the ROMs of red and blue into the Switch online yes. service. And then the, on, the, the link online service that's inbuilt into that service automatically registered and works with the red and blue ROMs. Yeah, yeah, because it's got link cable support. It's like having an analog pocket and plugging in a link cable, and it just find works. That wild? That's wild to me. The fact that it's like an unknown thing for the Switch Online, right. but it works no problem. Yeah, right? I, I think that's what's crazy. I think what I have a problem with is everybody reporting on it and saying this means Pokemon. I'm gonna look real stupid tomorrow when they announce Pokemon games. But everybody's looking at this and going, "This means Pokemon games on the Nintendo Switch," but. No, it just means that the link cable that's works. That's why you're so aggressively coming at me with obviously. Yeah, yes. Obviously. Yes. Because you think it's yes. obvious and it means nothing. So in, I think it was 2020, uh, there was a leak that showed that they were working on, a. it was called Sloop. The, the Game Boy emulator is called Sloop. Sloop. Yeah. And it has, there was a, a list of games that were working in Sloop. And uh, <laughs> thank God. All, I think all of them are on Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, Nintendo Switch Online. Mm -hmm. All the ones from that leak mm -hmm. uh, and all the ones that are coming out are on that list. The only one that was different was uh, there was a Pokemon, I think it was an app that was just called like Pokemon Trade. It was like a Game Boy Advance thing. I don't remember exactly what it was called, but it wasn't an actual Pokemon game. It was mm -hmm. like a, I don't know. But... Uh, not, Pokemon is nowhere to be found in any of the data mines or anything. So that's why I'm like hesitant to think that they would put Pokemon games on there. You, re you are either going to look very smart tomorrow or very dumb tomorrow. Yes, yes. And that's what I like to do. I like to put all my cards out I there. Like you know? it. I like to I like it. just send it. I like it even more that these come out after too. So like you look <laughs> even more dumb or we even might, more smart. What are the what scenario would have to happen for the Pokemon Direct where we jump in and, and do a do a Yeah, we thing. did talk about that. We're a little off topic from the Wii U and the eShop yeah. e stuff, but uh I think the Pokemon games are the most interesting part of, of the Wii U. I've previous. got some hidden gems oh, that boy. I would like to have you heard of Wind Waker? Have you heard of Armadillo Man's rolling <laughs> that Armadillo? Is actually time? One of them. <laughs> uh where off topic were we going? That is cute. Oh, that is cute. Oh, yes. So Zim, Zim's sitting on we should quickly Zim. mention that there is a Pokemon Direct tomorrow as we film this. This yeah. episode- It was Monday of this week. This episode beyond the Pokemon talk we're about to wrap up 
won't be affected by that. So this will be a nice little episode for Thursday yeah. as per usual. But if anything does super exciting happen tomorrow, we might emergency record something for like, I don't know, you have your podcast on Tuesday. When would we try? Tuesday? We could do tomorrow night. We could do tomorrow Tuesday night. during the day. Try and get it, it up matter. Tuesday morning. Yeah. Oh, wait. We talk, I, I thought I'd just slot something into this. Because I Well, don't no, think, because we... I don't think... Last I, night, they, they, we were on the phone. So it's about like, oh, you are going <laughs> to let me. You are going to let me do it. I think that there's not going to be much that's going to be that important to do like a whole episode. Yes. Well, in that case, we talked about slotting in a 10-minute bit to this episode, which they might have already seen or it might be right. He He left me. He's gone forever. He's off the podcast, never coming back. I have to get my water. That's a big jug. That's a big boy. I know it has uh, times and everything on it. Uh, well, let's wow. not get deviated. Let's not get yeah, deviated. Let's, get, let's do this really quick because this episode is a big episode. <laughs> I know. We ended up recording for a long time. Uh, so the Pokemon Presents happened and yeah. Bob didn't we love it? Oh, it was so good. It was so great. It was uh, it, everything. We, I didn't even think we were going to do a slotted in talk when I saw the news today because we basically nailed everything and we and we said like what would be the case where we would have to slot something in and mm-hmm. this 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 does not qualify no what at all. we said i remember it we we <laughs> said if there's nothing to talk about we'll slot in a little thing saying we okay. there was nothing and then we'll do a whole episode for something good but i think it's good to be here because we need to revel in our brilliance here a little bit we oh, have yeah, sure we nailed the direct You know, Mm -hmm. everything down to the GBA games. And you nailed, we nailed really, but you nailed the Pokemon Presents having uh, nothing. And especially not the Fire Red stuff. So, Well, you're the one who said DLC. Not Fire Red. You're the one who said DLC for the new games. And I agreed with that. Uh, And that's what we got. And we got barely any information about the, the DLC for the new games. Without, we got, we mean, got a cheeky little animation. No, we got a cheeky little uh, 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 like like video. Yeah, we got nothing, like we got live no action game, video yeah. that says in the bottom corner, not actual gameplay. And like, know, dude, you didn't need to say that. No, you didn't need to say that. We knew, like, we could tell the game oh, looks yeah, like one. shit okay. compared to okay. this. <laughs> Yeah, on the Pokemon Sleep one, they also said when they were cuddling with Pokemon, they said not real footage, dramati- dramatization. <laughs> like, yes, I am aware I will not be cuddling my Pikachu. But yeah, uh, there's no, there's no, they just showed st- no, like none. still images. There's no nothing about this Yeah, a lot of people mentioned, obviously the DLC. obvious, they didn't, they didn't talk about the, the performance issues, the glitches, anything like that. That's just moving right along to the DLC. And they didn't show any gameplay. Instead, they came up with these kind of cool, honestly, 3D renders. Um, hmm. I'm a little confused, I guess, by the DLC. It looks like two completely new areas and characters and adventures completely separate from the base game, which is very different to what they did in Scarlet and Violet. I'm also confused. But yeah, very again, confused. they told us nothing. So, no, and they showed us nothing. And, and to summarize the entire Presents, it was literally the last Presents. It was <laughs> updates for Cafe Remix, updates for Masters EX. It's always the mobile games getting updates, and then you can just fast forward right to the end, and we have DLC for the new Pokemon game. The only thing yeah. that I'm surprised we actually saw was Pokemon Sleep, because I yeah. thought that was ironically in an internal slumber of itself and we would never see it because we haven't heard about it in like two years. Yeah, Pokemon Sleep was the one. Every time there's Pokemon news, everyone's like, we're going to see Sleep, and then we don't. And now we do. Uh, is there a release date? Do we know anything? Yeah, they did. They did. I, I, You'll have to skim around and find it. It was okay. like a few months or something. And then the Pokemon Go Plus Plus thing as well. There's a lot of Pokemon Go interaction between the new games and Sleep and... yeah. Coming I, I summer 2023. Perfect time to get some Zs. Uh, a lot of people have been excited. I I don't know. Look, I, I don't know if excited is the word for sleep. I think it's more because it's a meme, because it's a Pokemon's. I don't know if anyone actually wants it. I mean. I don't know if I want the Pokemon company to tell me how badly I'm sleeping. Do the, I need well, the that? Funny, the funny thing is I'm actually wearing it right now. I am wearing this. Uh, it's called 
Amazon Halo, and it does exactly what Pokemon Sleep does. It tracks my sleep as well as a bunch of other stuff. I have yeah, but can you like collect? A, can you collect a Slowpoke? No, no. Well, but it's well. I would. My point was, this is nothing super new. But I'm confused how it's going to track your sleep because this does it because it's on my wrist, right? How right. is this little disc going to do it sat next to me? But it's like they do I, that with a phone. They, they, if you put your iPhone next to you, it could track your sleep. With, oh, okay. Well, it how? could track. It tracks your REM sleep. Like if you're moving around a lot, like they know oh, that you're, what like if you're out of your smiling? REM or something. Some people just don't move when they sleep. There's like, it, it tracks like very small movements. What if I like get up to pee? I'm not a sleep guy. Okay. <laughs> And then Stay I up guess twenty four seven. Depending on how you sleep, you wake up to different Pokemon that have similar sleep patterns to you. It's interesting. I don't. Now, is that going to encourage people to uh, have bad sleep in order to capture different types of Pokemon? Yeah, that is interesting, huh? Because you would have to have all different kinds of sleep to get them all. Yeah. I would like to see the first person to speed run this game. Speed uh, you run know, sleep. If they had like a fitness bracelet and you ca you caught Pokemon by. Uh, you know achieving different physical activities that might get me to work out that would be really interesting i think people would end up complaining you know i, I it happens all the time but i thought people would complain like oh i can't you i can't play this because i can't run or i can't play this because yeah, i'm blah, there blah, would, blah there would need to be like uh yeah i don't know but, it, but maybe or everybody can sleep everyone <laughs> real good at sleep. well actually that's not even true some people have insomnia did they even think of the insomniacs? Did they even think of those people? But, I don't think I, they did. Also, I don't know what the sleep styles entail until I guess the game comes out. Uh, you know, an older Bob, a younger Bob would have uh, would have bought this Pokemon Go Plus Plus. Is that what it's called? Yes. Uh, I would have bought that and did have done a video on it. But uh, why? Why would I do that now? I, I like the idea of using it in Pokemon Go, but the Pokemon Go Plus you wear on your wrist and it's like a watch and it seems much more convenient than carrying a big disc around with you everywhere. I mean, the Can disc we... would be more convenient than the Pokeball Plus because that... Yeah, you, that's true. That was a ball. You know? Yeah. They've done a lot of these things now, huh? Uh yeah. Can we collaborate on a Pokemon sleep review where we like we sleep next to each other to see who like <laughs> catches the best Pokemon or something? We'll have sure. like cameras in the room like monitoring us. This is That'd a really this is a really video. strange way to proposition me into sleeping with you. I was hoping you wouldn't catch in on that. No, it's uh, it's, uh, it's out there. Was it a yes or a no? It's a it's a I'm scared is what it is. <laughs> All right, we should wrap it up. That yes. was pretty much the whole presents. It wasn't no too Game Boy games, of course. Nope. No, of course. And that and right. I have a Bob bet with did right. I tell you about the bet with Jackson? I don't think I did in the main episode. No. Uh Jackson you want a bet. bet? Well, uh, <laughs> right? What's Congratulations that money on the line? <laughs> uh for me, not him. Uh me and AU Retriever, who's a viewer of all of ours, uh mm. he uh he bet five gifted subs that uh there wouldn't be any Game Boy games in this. Uh, and then I doubled it. I said I'll give five gifted subs to if there's Game Boy games. Uh and the uh, what Jackson has to do now because he lost is he has to stream for three hours just his chair. He can't be on the stream for three hours. I love this. <laughs> I really do. Which, if you're not a Twitch guy, that is uh, not going to be good for a stream. That's not going to be good for his analytics. <laughs> no, that's bad. That's shooting yourself in the foot. Well, he might be upset about that, but honestly, so am I. That presents kind of sucked. Pokemon yeah, that was sleep, more like Pokemon put me to sleep. Am I right? Also, it was 25 minutes for no reason. They were just so boring. They talked for, they repeated themselves over and over again. They took so long between sentences. They kind of screw themselves by having to do one. It's, it's, it's for the anniversary every year, right? Yeah. It's always on the anniversary. So, so like they kind of have to do one at a certain time, whether or not they have stuff. And this time it was like, Let's just hurry and get some title cards for the DLC and show them sleep, I guess. Yeah, it's it's not. They, they should have streamlined it or they should have made it an email. I mean, honestly, I'm fine with it. I didn't have much uh, expectations for it. It is what it is. And um, I, I think we'll make a fun, interesting video out of sleep. I do think there'll be a funny <laughs> video that I don't made. know. I don't, I don't know how I, worth it, it is. I don't know. I could see like I could see a title for me like I. I played Pokemon Sleep for seven days or seven nights straight. This is what happened or something. Mm -hmm. 
just make it all quirky and, and fun. Not like an actual review, since I'm not allowed to review Switch games anymore. Right, right, right. Under, it's I not understand. a Switch game. It's a, it's a mobile it's game. All right, throw okay. it to us. Throw it back all to right. us. All right, get back to me. Bye, and you. Bye. All right, anyway. Let's, uh, mo- let's move on to yeah. stuff that's not going to be so dated. What do you, you made a list right before this. I have yeah. the whole ass 3DS eShop at yeah, the you palm did. of my hand. That's kind of cute. Can and, we get a camera on that? And they have... This no. is one of the last times you can record it. It's like a month before. This look, will never look happen at, again. Here, let me turn on the 3D for you guys at home. You see it? Whoa! See what? I'm getting ha! nothing. <laughs> my glaucoma! I only ever use... <laughs> <laughs> I only ever use the 3D... Once when I played uh, the first time I got it, Mario. I said I'm good. I played Mario Mario Land 3D in 3D, and it was actually yeah. sick. It actually it, it was there, really good. There were two like areas in Mario Land 3D mm. that I needed the 3D for because it just helped. But otherwise, it, it was stupid. While Bob is perusing the actual 3DS store, he might see some of these I'm, games okay. that I pulled out. Uh, I think Rhythm Heaven would be a great game to snag yeah. digitally before you can't get it anymore. I've been playing, I talked about some podcasts, I've been playing the the game, before Rhythm Heaven, it was an arcade game in Japan, and I've been playing that on my arcade game, and it's awesome. I really do like rhythm games. Yeah. There's uh, there's a couple really cool, one of the first games that launched on Switch was Voiz, V-O-E-Z, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was yeah. sick. Yeah, that's a mobile game port, you can play it on your phone. Did I did we did we talk about the arcade rhythm game I found recently? Where it was no, like the big spinny wheel. And oh you had yeah, to like, yeah, that was sick that. too. So rhythm heaven's important because I tried to play it on an emulator, mm. and they want you to take the whole thing, the whole 3ds, and turn it sideways. Is that how you play it on yeah, 3ds? Yeah. You oh have to wow! Turn it sideways. So you can't really you could you have to really mess with an emulator in order to get it to look like that. Even more reason to grab it. And I can't figure out why. To, yeah. So that's a game that you're gonna want to play on original. Would you hardware. say it's a hidden gem or is that is that like wide enough? No, no. I never really hear anyone talk about it's, it, but it's pretty popular. It's very. I'd say it's widely known, uh, but I wouldn't say it's uh, widely available. So there you go. It's catchy. I like that. Um, if you haven't played Rhythm Heaven, I mean, it's a rhythm game. It kind of speaks for it's itself, great. but it's a really relaxing kind of almost like a war. If WarioWare was a, was a rhythm game, yeah, it's a. I only played a little bit of it because I it was not set up correctly on the emulator I was using, and uh, it's pretty hard. But yeah, it's it. You're right. It's kind of like WarioWare, but well, it would be kind of hard if you're playing it. it sideways. Yeah, and you have to tap the screen. And I'm using like a basically a phone <laughs> tapping it. It was sucked. Uh. Well, that's actually a really a, even a better one than I thought. Now you put some input in there. Yeah. If you want I'm gonna have some input on a lot. I'm just of these not guys. used to you having input. You got. We're talking about retro games, baby. <laughs> Let's go. You Read them off. I was kidding. You always have input. <laughs> Read them off. What are your absolute favorites? Armadillo Man Two. Rolling time, Armadillo guy. <laughs> Woo! So this is an interesting one. It's called Dylan's Rolling Western, I believe. Yeah, um, baby. There might be other cases of this too. I mean. Uh, as far as not having a physical, I was going to say Sushi Strike is might be another one, but that does have a physical. This is a first party. We've talked about it before on the podcast. I always bring this up as an example of Nintendo doing a first party wacky wild yeah. one. Yeah. This is a first party wacky wild Nintendo game that well, uh This was in a Nintendo Direct and they made like a big deal about it and then no, it was like Armadillo did. Man's Rolling Western 2 and everyone was like what? <laughs> <laughs> Where was the last one? And no one I assume that game has come out at this point. Sure, I hope it Isn't did. Isn't that good. it? No, this this is the first one. Oh, it's the first one. There's yeah, a first one. We're talking about 3DS. <laughs> yeah, there's a first one to the sequel. Uh, right, right. Again, it's I'm I don't know how fun it is. I got to be honest. I actually haven't played this no, one. No, I, I don't know anything about it. But it's one of those just you know once the eShop goes down, unless Nintendo decides to bring it over to Switch at some point to sit alongside its exciting new sequel, 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. Let me show you this. There's in the eShop on the 3DS. There's sections. Mm. They have Mario. They have Pokemon. They have uh, that's that's Link. I think they have mm. uh, Kirby. You better they show the camera this as well. Yosh. After. They have Sonic. I do and like they that. Just have a Minecraft brick. <laughs> and Mario Kart Seven. And I do they like just that. Have individual games. All the games separated by character. That's yeah, cute. That's cool. And, and I mean, it's important because one of the first, the first one they have is Mario. Second one is Pokemon. And Pokemon has like literally every. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance game. It's like rolling, ready to go. Actually, where's the Game Boy Advance? It does feel kind of weird. And they have here, different different languages too. Watching you go through an an e shop that is just days away from being terminated. Hey, there's no Game Boy Advance games. 
Well, we got them on Switch. They're now. doing a Ruby remake. Let's go, Ruby. <laughs> they already did a Ruby remake. Oh, f- wait. What was the Ruby remake? The Omega. Omega. Uh, Omega Ruby. Alpha that doesn't Sapphire. count. That doesn't count. <gasps> oh, my God. Let me squeeze this one in real quick. Okay. Uh, talking about games that you might want to grab before it's too late for reasons similar to Dylan's rolling Armadillo Man... Uh, Pokemon Bank and Pokemon Transporter. Yes. Uh, these are these are obviously going to go away, but it's a way to transfer your games and app. Uh, yeah. Calm to down. transfer Calm down. your Pokemon and store your Pokemon from 3DS Pokemon games. And yeah, once you lose those, you're just not going to matter. The only thing I'll say is apparently there's a paid subscription part of the whole deal, which is wild. I didn't know that they were doing yeah, that. Nickel know. and diming people to store their Pokemon outside of the games. Cool. Great. Uh, but don't pay for that because it's, it like becomes free, I guess, when, or it already might be, but it becomes free when it closes down. So as long as you have them downloaded, uh, you shouldn't need a subscription. I'm going to download it right now. And you'll be able to because, grab them. You because, should technically grab all three of the ones we just talked about. A Rhythm Heaven has a physical. If you, <laughs> <laughs> you can't put your card in here. So if it's on the eShop now, you shouldn't have to pay for it. Well, I believe those two are free to download anyway, but there's a subscription to keep using it. Oh, I understand. So go ahead and download them because okay. E will appreciate it when he I, wants to I'd transfer also, his Omega Ruby Pokemon. I'd also like to... Sapphire, but okay. Okay, Sapphire. Yeah. Right, I'd sorry, also sorry. like to note that <laughs> sorry. Pokemon P-Cross... You're a P-Cross, blue kind of guy. Pokemon P-Cross is also, I think, a free game. Uh, that's what you need in order to hack the 3DS. <laughs> you like, oh, need really? to download Pokemon P-Cross for some reason. That's wild. Also, that's, that's, a, good, that's a good point. Go on there... Go to free, download everything. Yeah, true. Just grab everything. So you'll you'll probably be able to get free stuff for the for the foreseeable future because they said Nintendo said for the foreseeable future you will be able to re-download games you already own. So I'd imagine the oh, free really? stuff. Oh really? They're will gonna save. keep that open? Yes. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. I assume you just it can't was, buy stuff. That's cool. I assumed you wouldn't be able to download anything, so you'd have to like keep it there. Yeah. It, so oh, that's so, nice. So the Pokemon Bank might stay around for a little bit. Well, that's free. It's free. Yeah. If you have to access and to get it for the first time, you might not be able to. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't Again, risk it. They'll I would let just you, grab it while you can. They'll let you re-download stuff. I don't know what the actual eShop is going to look like. You also, know? like Pokemon Bank and Transfer has to be like a two megabyte thing. Yeah, small. Just, just get it. And it's important because I want to do a video where I take a Pokemon from red and move it all the way into yeah. Violet. Isn't, yeah, the name isn't the there game. a, there's a kink in the, in the, in the, in there the is, chain. There is, in the chain, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's Game Boy Advance to 3DS or something. So, or Game Boy Advance to DS. Yeah. So, this app is very important, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Speaking of things that are important, you know what's important to both Bob and I? Coffee. Oh! Coffee. Got? We got trade coffee. This, you're going to love this. This is what I got in my, in my, in my thing right now. Look at it. Oh do, you, my God. do you notice the, the, that? Do you notice yeah, the logo? I notice it. Look at the logo. What is that? Or orange. You know it? Yeah. Coffee, New York City. Baby. We've been there. They made, oh, we have? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. When did we go? Uh, we went to a diner and then we went next door to that. Oh my God. Orange. Is yeah. that, is that where we filmed the intro episode or is that a different place? No, this was uh, your right. satisfied thing. That's what I mean. We went there for a Satisfy commercial, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> but we filmed in there, didn't we? No. Not no. in the coffee. I don't think so. All right. We Did went we there. You were there. Was it, was it next to the bridge? Next to the... No, it was no. next to the diner that we ate at He's in Manhattan. He's talking about the one that's in Dumbo, uh, no. right by the Brooklyn Bridge. Different guy? Yeah. This is the, the, the one that was next to like the what looked like a Seinfeld-type diner. Oh, yeah. I didn't go into that place. Local, I stood outside. Local New York roastery. Because <laughs> I didn't have a mask. And then I had to oh, go yeah, to this is like pandemic. And then I had to go to CVS and get a mask. I had a mask. I lost it. So I didn't yes. get I didn't get to go in. You know what's good about that though? You don't gotta go anywhere. I got it right here in my Trey hands. Just, Trey and just COVID's throws gone. it at you. And COVID, that's and COVID's good too. gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> Let's hurry up. We're doing it again. <laughs> no, we're we're taking, I know. I'm we're trying. taking too long on the <laughs> sponsor. Also, another great coffee that Trade gave me. That yeah. got a 10 out of 10. Yeah. City of Saints. I loved it. I showed it off at the last time we did one of these sponsors. The last time we it did was one, great. I showed off my Smooth Mama coffee or whatever it was called. I can't remember. That's the decaf. Good. <laughs> it was delicious. Yeah. I've been working through it. It's a really nice bag. I got to rate these. 
Um, I, I always forget to rate them on that. You rate them, and it helps them curate coffees for you. Well, that's not part of our read, but that is true. I, it actually might be part of our read. That's I a just good. You can spit. Talk ball. from the heart. No, you can. I've been using them since before they even sponsored. Let me. me talk from the heart. I wasn't, but as soon as I started <laughs> getting sponsored by them, I stuck, baby, and yeah. I've been doing the subscriptions ever since. And I love the ease of just being able to scale back if I'm not drinking too much coffee, or in, as I talked about switching to decaf recently and getting decaf yeah. because I can't drink decaf because of my anxiety. But you know, I can't drink coffee because of my anxiety. But you know what else sucks? You want to go another tangent? I told you this before, but I, I have rosa- want I have tangent. I have rosacea now. I went to the dome. And I'm like breaking out. Mm. Apparently, here are some things that might cause it: oat milk, hot drinks. So I can't. I so here's all the elements of a coffee I can't have: coffee, anxiety, <laughs> right? Oat milk because of my skin. I can't have it hot because of my well, skin, and I can't have regular milk because I'll fart and poop everywhere. Let trade help you out because you can go on the app. <laughs> you can go on the stupid website, and you can select. Cold! <laughs> now you like it iced! Oh, Say you like it iced! Yeah, let's go! Trade, All baby! All your problems are solved with Trade Coffee. Do the CTA. <laughs> I'm still drinking hot coffee, though. Let's be honest. I love it too much. Screw my skin. Ah, uh, screw my skin. I got medicine. Trade makes it easy <laughs> and convenient to discover new coffees. Upgrade your morning routine with better coffee. Trade is offering our viewers a free bag of coffee with any subscription at drinktrade.com forward slash nontendo. That's drinktrade.com forward slash nontendo for a free bag of coffee with any subscription purchase. All right, let me uh, get through some more of these 3DS ones because we still have Wii U to look at. I, yeah. I kind of put on some little, little favorites of mine that I think would be great. I think even though Animal Crossing New Leaf does have a physical, it's one of those games that you want to play every day, right? It's a day and night cycle. So if you have other games you want to play, it's a little inconvenient to keep taking the card out, putting the card back in. It's something you want to be able to easily check back in on. So You're having, saying it, having it digitally. Having it digitally. It's mm-hmm. one of them games that is nicer to have it digital. I think about that with games like um, Smash Brothers 2, which I didn't have on this list, but sure, go grab it. Sometimes I just want to play Smash, but like I don't want to have to like go get it. I just want to like play around a Smash, and That's I get why- <laughs> I get so tempted to just buy it digitally just yeah. so I can play Smash. This I is want. the argument of physical over I know. digital and yeah, I digital know. over physical because you Lazy. want physical because they could just do this and shut down the the, mm-hmm. the, the storefront, mm-hmm. but you kind of want digital because it is a lot more convenient to just have it on the console. So for the you, I'm a I like to be a collector. I have like a lot of retro stuff. Oh really? But I stopped on the. Nintendo Switch because I wanted the convenience of having all of the games with me. And that's a blessing and a curse. I just, I feel, this is a different conversation, but I feel like I know I have bought so many digital games over the years, like on Xbox, PlayStation, PC, whatever. And I don't even remember the games. I've forgotten the games. I don't know what games. I don't know where the games were. Did I buy them on Epic Launcher? Did I get them on Diddly Squat, you know? But when I have them physical, I can look back all the way to PS2 and be like, oh yeah, I have that game. I might play that and check it out. It just feels like I have my library, you know? Yeah, but another problem is you get friggin' uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection. You pull it out and there's a code in there. (laughs) And it's like, oh, let me play Mega Man. Oh, wait, I can't. You know what else is gonna suck? That that When people talk about like disc rot or like- uh, yeah. Like when the NES games all start dying. Yeah. Because they're not going to last forever. They're already like 50 years old. Yeah, but you know what? They kind of hold up pretty damn good. They do. They've been doing really good. Yeah, because you hear about the cartridges all dying out. I heard about it 10 years ago, and like they're they're still fine. The the only issue, I actually should have a TikTok and a YouTube short right now, uh, replacing the battery in a save file for uh, all the old stuff. Used to have a battery save. Can we talk about TikTok for a second? Sure. (laughs) You want to tangent right now? You, want to, you are very devious. You got very. <laughs> I told the editor if you if you saw sorry the TikToks. I told the editor to try putting some soap videos. Did you talk to him outside of our group chat? No, I think it was in the group chat. Okay, so you said it in the group. It seemed like a joke, and then I said, "Yeah, could you play some Subway Surfer and capture some footage?" As an obvious joke. I'm annoyed that he hasn't done Subway Surfer yet because I want to see how that goes. I hate this. I, I know. <laughs> I so love, trust if me. you haven't looked at our TikTok in the past week, every single TikTok is us talking and then soap cutting. <laughs> the reason why is because apparently it does really well in the algorithm, but I wanted to test it. I just wanted to see mm. what happens. It was supposed to be a goof and a gaff, and also... It's not on the main channel. I cannot believe he did it. I, I cannot. He Brandon freaking, will do whatever I tell was, him. I was like, he's a good guy. Yeah, but I, I thought it was a joke. And then Hannah got the all of the all of the files, 
And they're, she's like, why are all of them soap gun? Hannah and I was like, what Hannah the fuck? messaged the group chat. She had it uploaded and she was like, I don't think we should do this. And I was like, why? I'm like, I don't think we want this on the timeline. And I was like, no, you do it. Pull the trigger. All right. So here's here's some results though. Usually our TikToks get around like 2,000 to 3,000 views unless one blows up. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first soap foot cutting video got 7,000. The second soap cutting got 30,000. And then yesterday's soap cutting, this one in the middle here, 140,000, baby. What are you it saying in that works. one? What are you saying? It doesn't Hannah, matter. Hannah said, do you think it's the soap cutting or do you think you guys were just wrong <laughs> and everybody wanted to correct you? <laughs> I think that these videos are fantastic and I think they are peak content and the only thing that ruins them is us talking at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Here's why I don't like it. One, it's stupid as hell. It Two, is stupid. It's not our content. We're I putting know. someone else's stuff in our video, which is kind of like a TikTok thing to do. It's, People just free boot all the time, but I don't like that. It is. If, if you want me to cut soap, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, yeah, let's I'll, do it. What I think. I'll do it. So, like, people, you do that and they do Subway Surfer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like the obvious things. If we're going to do Subway Surfer or I guess soap cutting, why not just put gameplay of like the thing we're talking about? If you gotta put something, why does it gotta be soap cutting? So I was thinking power washing. So there's these <laughs> videos where they power wash and it like cleans really satisfying. Come over, <laughs> come over. I got dog, <laughs> dog poop all over my backyard. Well, when I came up with the idea, I told him, could you get like- like Could you power wash your yard and film <laughs> it? <laughs> I told him, could you get like gamer soap or like something like, you know, more on brand with like video games? Hannah has to film that. If, you're, if, you, also, want, if you want actual soap cutting, just make Hannah film some soap Two cutting. things. One, it was an experiment and a joke and it was on the second channel. It wasn't on the main channel. So I didn't think anyone would actually care. I thought yeah. it would go out to algorithms and people would have a laugh and not even know what was happening. Two, if you want someone to blame, blame Kit and Krista because I saw them yeah, do it. Yeah, I know. I saw them do it first. They did it. <laughs> As an obvious joke too, because it's them. And then they put Subway Surfer and Soap Cutting. That's what I wanted. I don't, also he's picking the worst soap videos and not even entertaining. <laughs> I think if you're going to do it, it should be gameplay. We will, we will keep experimenting with things, but uh, we will stop the soap. But the then soap, it also like, it should be some, like one of us playing a game so that it's our footage. It should be you I'm cutting down. soap, Bob. Like steal from a stream and just crop it on the game. I'm like, down. We'll make it our content. We'll make it our own. We'll make it Zuma so, so they can enjoy it too. Hannah, you get some gamer soaps or something. You yeah, buy I some have... gamer soaps and film some soap cutting. They have, um, uh, I've seen at Target, they have a gummy controller. I think we could get some content out of and that. And just like, squeeze it. Yeah. Zim eating it. Someone eating it. Zim yeah, eating it. we could do that. We could do it's like a, the size of Zim. Just cut it up. Just cut yeah, up the yeah. gummy controller into portions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. We've got something going here. What 140,000 views. What if we just this. upload the gummy cutting with, with us <laughs> not in the But it is yours, so you could. Yeah. Can yeah, I also do. say that the first episode was a lot of people saying they love the soap because like it was like funny for them. The second, saw, the second, epi uh, uh, second time, everyone was like, "Can we stop this? Yeah. <laughs> this is stupid. Why are you still They're doing like, this?" Right, I guess it's not. Someone a joke. was like, "I almost blocked you for this video," <laughs> but you know what's even funny? The third time around with this one with one hundred and forty thousand, it's obviously blown outside of us. Mm. So all the comments are only talking about the Zelda stuff, <laughs> and nobody's mentioning the soap cutting. Yeah. It's yeah. so funny. Anyway, sorry, another tangent. Let me, oh, Jesus Christ, Bob, shut up. What? Let me finish all of the uh, 3DS stuff. Get all the Ace Attorney exclusives. Resident you Evil. Buy all of the games. Resident Evil Revelations. We're just giving these games it's away. It's a fantastic 3DS e game. It's Zelda, one of the best 3DS the games. Words. Dementium is a good scary game, and I don't know if it had a physical. Um, and then I, I threw Super Mario 64 DS on here because I think it's the best version of Super Mario 64. Do they have the Dark Void DS game or 3DS game? That was the best version of Dark Void. <laughs> That's the jetpack game. Let's just say yes. If you okay. look, look for it. You got the eShop in your hand. I got everything you at the palm me? of my hand. Um, and then just to cap off 3DS, all the Pokemon games like we talked about, barring any that might've been all in right, the let's direct. Let's not say all of them, but there's well, a lot of them. All the ones you want. Um, okay. And any and all the virtual console stuff from the 3DS, obviously. Oh, and Metroid, like playing Fusion on a 3DS is sick. Dark Void Zero is yeah. $5 and it is a DSi game. And it is great. It's kind of like old Duke Nukem, like old. How much is it? Five bucks. Get it. Yeah, dude. Get it, man. It's your last chance to hey, get my it. My credit card's on there. Just start buying stuff. Okay. Well, no, they, they 
They took the credit cards off. Wait, so how, oh yeah, true. <laughs> how how is it only through cards? How can e-shop, you go by e-shop. You e-shop cards. Dude, I don't know. We I were saying know. you have to buy stuff on the so they put e-shop off. credit on your on on, on the website. Go to the right website, now. put e-shop credit. Right you should now. put like five bucks on it, and we'll try put to five hundred dollars. Go for it. <laughs> put put yeah, put some credit on there. We'll try buying some stuff while we're here. All right. While you're doing that, um, I want to go through the Wii U stuff. So a lot of people were saying that Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution was the best version of the game because of the way the Wii U pad integrated into the game. Okay. I don't know how I don't know I don't how true believe that, that is. I, whenever they say the Wii version or it's, Wii U version is the best version, I'm not It's usually that. hardcore Wii U fans from yes. the Wii U subreddit that's like, this is your best version hey of guys, the game. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, Wii U time! <laughs> Thanks for the Wii U. Listen, um, the, I'm on the thing. It says redeem a Nintendo eShop card. So you could probably go to Target and get an eShop card. And yeah, put you right could buy them off. Yeah, Amazon, definitely. You could, you, you could Just grab one off Amazon. We could do that, but you can get them the digital card directly through PayPal. You, yeah, it says, that. note, you can't it. use a points card to add funds. What's a points card? You must add funds before a, making a purchase. You can't use a points card. I think it used to be... Uh, Just grab... For, it used to be po- they used to call them points, and they changed over to like monies. Just grab a ten dollar eShop gift right card now. if you can't use it on the three DS. Which just put it on your Switch. I- Hyrule Warriors apparently is really sick to grab. I mean, both of these do have physicals too. I don't know what they go for now, but apparently the Hyrule Warriors on Wii U you can co op, you can couch co op with someone on the gamepad and someone on the TV. I just thought that was really unique. I didn't realize how many DS and three DS. I don't know about 3DS. I don't know how many of those were on the Wii U. You said Metroid Prime Hunters. Yeah. That's a DS game. That's on the Wii U? Yes, yeah, on the virtual console on the Wii U. That is crazy. Yeah. That is like the first DS game that was like on all of the demos at like GameStop. Mm-hmm. You used to go in there, play them, and go, I can't figure this out. I actually out. have not. It's really complicated to play with. I've not only never played it, I don't think I've ever seen it or seen gameplay of it or anything. I think were I completely. Were you not a DS man? No, I didn't have a DS. This was like when the DS was coming out. It was in all the games. I don't think I've really talked about this because it never came up, but yeah, I went from Game Boy Color to like home consoles. Or G- sorry, not Game Boy Color, GBA and like SP and all that to home consoles. And, and then I back. got I went back with the 3DS after the after the whole ambassador stuff went down. I didn't know about any of that. And then I got a 3DS. So yeah, I missed a lot of DS stuff and a lot of DS games. So yeah, I had no I know. Apparently it plays like Quake. Is that true? Metro I Prime don't Hunters? know about that. I mean well, like Quake inspired? Quake, Quake in what? That it's a first person shooter? Yeah. But like, you so know, you, like you kind of go through like rooms like in a straight line and there's shoot, shoot I didn't bad play guys. much of it. I just knew that it had a multiplayer element. Just, that was like a big deal. Yeah. Because okay. you can ad hoc multiplayer. Um, Xenoblade X, I I actually, a lot of people love this one as like kind of the hidden gem of the Xenoblade series. I did not like it that much, but it does have a, Big cult following. I know RGT likes it. You got a lot of uh, Xenoblade angst. No. Okay. I just went in and out. I didn't love X. I I loved one. I I didn't care for X. I didn't hate it like I hate two with a fiery burning passion in the bottomless <laughs> pit of my soul. Uh, and then three, I liked. Somebody uh, wrote in my Twitch chat the other day, why is Xenoblade 2 so bad? I think it was after you raided me. That's so bad. I was like, <laughs> wrong chat, dude. I have no idea what you're no, talking about. No, just tell him because it sucks. Um... I was actually looking online for ideas for this list, and people kept saying Star Fox God. That was yeah, the, that's weird. That was the pack-in game that came with the new Star Fox game. Yeah, I don't. I never like played it. Thing. Never played you it. Plays like Slippy and his dad. Yeah. Or something. I don't. <laughs> Slippy's dad. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, something really. Strange. There should be fifty bucks on there. Fifty. 50? Well, it was, it this was, guy's it was like 10, hey, big spender. Loose can, can sure? spender. Yeah, yeah. You take this because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. Did it even charge? Oh, it did. Hold up to the camera if you do I, I anything interesting. Yeah. Out. Um, jungle the the new play Pikmin and new play Jungle Beat. I put Mario Galaxy two because you can't get that on Switch. Yeah, you can't get that. You can get Mario Galaxy. Actually, you can't even get Mario Galaxy one anymore. No, I know, right? How dumb. <laughs> so get that too, I guess. Uh, Donkey Kong Country. These are new shoes. I see. They're very. Nice. It's actually new shoes, new pants, and a new jacket. I opted not to wear the boots today because I wear them too much, and now you're the boots guy. Can I tell you what I did? And this is not a sponsor. I uh, I suck at buying clothes and my entire wardrobe sucks. So I finally was like, I'm going to have someone do this for me. Oh my God. I went to Stitch Fix or the Stitch Shop. What's oh, okay. It What's that place called, Kim? Stitch Fix? And I like I did like a whole fashion quiz and they sent me an outfit and this is, is essentially it. I when wore you, the shirt What did I say night. when you two walked up? That we looked like famous people. <laughs> 
That's because I have nice clothes for once. These are all yeah. new clothes and new shoes. And uh, you're wearing sunglasses. You had your like bags. You looked like a paparazzi photo. I wore my nice. Like I wore. They sent me a. Did you hear that? I, what? My ankle. Oh, that was your ankle? Yeah. I thought you took your lid off your cap. <laughs> no. Um, I wore my nice new shirt yesterday and I bought this at the con. So like this is all at the 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 gig. So this is yeah, all new outfit. Anyway, sorry. I'm just talking about myself again. <laughs> how, how do I how oh I see you. Ah uh, yeah, I'm I'm uh, And then uh too. Devil's Third is a game that a lot of people passed over because it got some pretty average reviews, but yes. it I if I were to, I don't know if things have changed, I haven't looked into the Wii U library uh, values in a long time, but it was one of like top three most expensive Wii U physical games. Oh. So if you wanted to give it a shot, because it didn't sell very well. Yeah. So if you wanted to give it a That's shot. That's another big same deal. Same with Bayonetta 2, actually. A lot of these retro games and stuff, and I mean games that are older than the mm. Wii U and stuff that's on this, mm. is going to be a lot more expensive physical. Yeah. Because the retro games market is insane yeah. right now. So buying Pokemon... Freaking gold for ten dollars is a steal. Cause you go to freaking uh, 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 retro game store, you go to DK Oldies. It's oh. gonna be fifty dollars at least. Those are the guys from and TikTok. the battery save probably, probably won't even work. I agree. And the Wii U library, especially for any like uh, first party stuff, is gonna be wildly expensive. Yeah. No, it, it's very expensive to buy retro games. Right That's now. the recommendations I had. And then also, yeah, grab anything from uh, the Wii U Virtual Console that you want, stuff like that. They're obviously all cheap, but like a few dollars, and they're games that uh, you don't know when they'll pop up again that'll be easily playable on a nice console with a nice screen that you don't yeah. have to emulate. I suspect they're going to be adding a lot more stuff to the to the Nintendo Switch Online, but it's not a guarantee. I do think it's interesting that a lot of the best, uh, a lot of the best games that are available on Virtual Console and stuff like that on 3DS and Wii U right now are games that we just got on the GBA and Game Boy Color mm -hmm. as the shop is closing down. They, it it they, is like Nintendo are trying to like... They are. They, they, they know what people want. They know yeah. their worth and, and they're building out the library. It's, it's probably really complicated to get all the licenses for all this stuff. No, for sure. A lot of the lists I was looking at... Um, were like outdated by like January they were making them talking about the upcoming closure and like everyone the number one was like grab Golden Sun while you still can <laughs> and I think Nintendo knows they like yeah. look at that and they're like oh, alright well we should put Golden Sun on the console then yeah, which is are. nice of them to do too because people could just go and buy it real quick but also, they're like it's coming for free Metroid Fusion that's another one I would yeah. suggest and that's coming to yeah. Nintendo Switch Online so. yeah honestly like I mean I I talked about it when I predicted the games that were coming. Mm. Those were all my favorites. Mm. So if if that didn't happen, I would be sat here telling you to buy Fusion and WarriorWare and all of that, but it's coming anyway. Guess what I've been playing at night before bed. should bring Rhythm Heaven over. <laughs> what be have cool. you been playing at uh, night at before night, bed? Right before bed? Right before like you, the last right couple before nights. you sleepies when you've had Guess your hot little playing. coffee decaf. I'll give you a hand. It's a Nintendo you're 64. In your Do you wear a nightgown with one yes. of them cap, the, yep. the, the big hats? I look like Don't Wake Daddy. Why did they wear those? <laughs> What it's was comfy. the point of wearing a hat to go it's to comfy. bed? It's comfy, and no, there's, the a, there's a bell inside Why? of the thing so that everyone knows when you're grabbing up at night, grabbing to go get milk. <laughs> and cookies? And cookies, yeah. yeah. Guess what Nintendo <laughs> Switch Online and Nintendo 64 game I've been playing every night? You'll never guess. So it's, oh, man. I mean, there's, it's, I have like a one in ten shot of getting it. Yeah. Um, Throw one out there. You get one. Pilot Wings. Win back. Oh, I could have get it. It's you tweeted about good, it. Good, dude. You tweeted it's about it. It's good. I like it. I know it's good. I told you it was good. Yeah. It People was... keep com comparing it to Splinter, uh, not Splinter Cell. Perfect uh, Dot? What? Metro, Metal, 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 Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Everybody's Gear. comparing it to Metal Gear because it's like the Nintendo 64 Metal Gear. No. Shut up. <laughs> it's like Time Crisis, like the arcade yeah, game. Because yeah. you hide behind the corner and then you pull out and, and, and shoot. That's what you're best at. Yeah, baby. Uh, don't make it worse. Uh, yeah, well, a lot of people complain. The funny thing is about Winback is it was one of those games that everyone had back in the day. I had so it, yeah. Everybody I was like, this had sucks. It. Like, yeah. I didn't, couldn't get into No it. one played it, though. It's just, it was just one of those games you had in your library. You got for cheap and no one played it. Yeah, it's, it's very good. It's, it's, I can understand it being a little, uh, like the, the the mechanics are very simple. There's only like three buttons, but like by today's standards, it's bizarre. But I, I like once you get your head around it, I like it. It's pretty good. I challenge you to go online and buy an N64 bundle that no. doesn't come with Winback. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a win back is going to be in the Is bundle. that how I got win back? Probably. I got to ask Will. Will knows everything from the moment he was born. Just I uh, ingrained in his brain. I, Laser etched. This is a random story. I, I feel bad about this, and I don't know why. When I started retro collecting, I was working at um, Bunnings Warehouse, which is like Home Depot. Mm. And one of my buddies that were working there, he like found out I was buying old stuff and he needed money for something. And he was like, hey, I'll sell you my 64 with all my games for like 80 bucks. And like at the time, like he had like Banjo-Kazooie and like all these like, and, and this is Australia too. So like 80 bucks there is like 40 bucks here, you know? Mm. And I was like, you know, that's a deal. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, if you need help. And like it, I only just started really getting into collecting. I didn't really think about it until I had it in my hands. But I was like, this is this dude's childhood. He just saved me. Yeah. From what I would do to get mine back, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he just, and I took this from him just now so he could what? Buy a sandwich? Like, what, yeah. what's he going to do with that 80? I don't know. I've, I've, I still have it. And it's one of the things in my collection I will never sell because I would feel horrible because I feel like I have ad- adopted his childhood. I mean, childhood. that's every, every used console I just don't, someone's childhood that I you're know, just I know. buying he wanted to sell it but i could tell there was a part of him that was like sad he was getting rid of it but he's like i don't use it anymore it's just yeah. it's, it's always sat weird with me that i have it dude it happened like i feel every like day it's not working mine. at gamestop it was incredibly sad people walking in and then you know being like take it i need rent you know it sucks man it sucked and, and then, then and then like eight dollars for like an xbox yeah i was at, i was at gamestop. Get like nothing i was literally i was at gamestop a few days ago and someone was selling a 360 for and they were like yeah we can give you like 15 bucks for it yeah and, and and every time these people would go oh oh because because you get so much more if you get store credit and i'm like just get the store credit you're gonna be yeah. here tomorrow you're gonna want call of duty just get the store credit they'd be like oh 15 dollars for cash i mean i'll take it and it's like <laughs> then don't take it that's why GameStop's in business they don't want to take it home again put it back on the shelf you yeah. know they just want it gone yeah and then there's people who would come in, trade their stuff in, get the money for rent, come back in the next week, and then just buy it again. And it's like, dude, stop doing that. You're just giving us money. That's when you worked there? Yeah. Found out about that last week. Kim worked there. I'm sure she has a billion of those stories. It's bad. That manager threw a PS3 at somebody once. Kim had someone that would come in. <laughs> I want to hear that story in a second. Would come in every day and ask if X game was open world. Every time. Yeah, yeah. Just, just pick yeah. a game. Is this open that was, world? That was the, around the time. Remember when I talked about Fallout 4 was like a big open world with yeah. nothing in it? Because they just kept going bigger and bigger because everyone would ask, is it open world? They would just shoehorn open world into games for no reason. Yeah, I'm glad they stopped doing that. <laughs> what, uh, what, why'd they get a PS3? Th- 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 so th- my th- manager th- and assistant manager were in the store at the time and uh, they were tra- these two dudes were like trading a PS3 and all the stuff and they didn't have like a controller and like a charge cable and you need all the stuff. So uh, they're ah, oh, you don't have the thing, so you have to you have to like get one of the used ones and you know put it in if you want to save the money. He's like ah, oh, whatever, dude. And he gets on the phone. This guy, he's like, yeah, this dumb bitch won't take back my thing. So she just goes, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> threw it. Out. Oh, she threw it. Yeah, she threw it. Out. Oh wow, it was awesome. That's good. And then they got the fuck out of there. That's good. I like that. When I worked at um, Burger King slash Hungry Jacks, I had a burger thrown at me once <laughs> from a customer, and it was like a cartoon style thing where like as he threw it, it like opened and like hit me in like different places. And then like the tomatoes like <laughs> rolling down the face all because he came through drive through and ordered it, thought he ordered it without ketchup, but we checked and he didn't. <laughs> he, he was wrong. He came in I and I didn't even take the order. I was working counter and he was like, you guys got my order wrong. And I was like, okay, well, what, 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 what did you actually order? And he was like, without ketchup. And he like threw it at me. I just went, all right. And I walked back to the manager and like, I was covered. And I'm like, a guy just threw a burger at me. And she was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah. And she was like, I'll go get him out of here. I was like, okay. Good. Screw that guy. He was out of there. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, we're doing a podcast. Um, Hi, I think podcast. we're done. I mean, yeah. eShop, Wii U, 3DS closes end of the month. If you still have it and uh, think you might ever go back to playing it. Grab some games before it's too late because there's definitely yeah. a lot of stuff. And there's more that we haven't talked about. I think you, you mentioned find- if you want the Pokemon stuff, wait for the announcement, which would have happened by happened, now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's the biggest deal of the whole thing is the Pokemon stuff. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, there's other great things. Yeah. Oh, good. Armadillo yeah. Man, Dark yeah. Void. I think Metroids, man. I don't know. I'm up there. Metroids. Pokemon- Metroid Prime Hunters is kind of a big deal. Po- well, for me, it's like You're never going to get that again. <laughs> Pokemon. I know. 
Pokemon <laughs> Red and Metroid Fusion. Like having yeah. those on my 3DS is sick. I think the Sonic Advance games. My God, let's even... keep the conversation going. I got to look that up because I was trying to figure out how to buy those and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I know RG, I haven't watched it, but I know my buddy RGT just made a video talking about some 3DS games. You can go online, look on Reddit threads of people um, in emergency, uh, you know, DEFCON 5 situations where they're like, what should I buy? And you can find whole threads of people yeah. recommending things. There, you can find lists online before These you These are just some that I thought would be cool and games that we like. Um, also, it's so easy to hack a 3DS. <laughs> Yeah, just emulate. Just steal them too, steal by the them, way. Dude. Yeah, you can buy a bunch of emulators and emulating consoles. And you can just steal, steal I everything. I don't see Sonic Advance. That's you don't even have to buy it. Like You don't have to buy Breath of the Wild. You can just steal it. Stealing stealing is stealing great. Is stealing great. is cool. It's the best way to yeah, do things. Because you, you don't spend any money. Yeah. And then it's free for you, which is yeah. good for, for me. I got in trouble because I, I, did I talk about this? I had a TikTok and, uh, and I talked about emulators and people were like, are oh, you just stealing games? And I was like, mm. all right, look, I am... But where am I going to get them? How am I going to play Sonic Advance? What do you want me to do? I can't buy it. Yeah, I. I, I but then there's but then there's games like Mega Man yeah, that you can that. buy that I have on my emulators. Yeah. But I also have the physical Mega yeah. Man X. I you got it on it. Nintendo Switch. I got it. it on the computer. I buy it everywhere that I can buy it because I just want. You it. could also theoretically if they release Sonic Advance, I'll buy it. You could theoretically, if you have like Breath of the Wild, you could rip the ROM and have yeah. it. That's what other people have done. You're just more conveniently downloading what someone else has ripped from there. Yeah, I don't think you should steal shit, but I they should you also should make these games more available so you don't have to steal it. To be honest, I don't emulate. Like I do it for videos. Like if I want to make content, I will like emulate Breath of the Wild and get mods on it and I play it for the video and then I never play it again. And if I'm going to play it, I will play on my Switch. I don't have a problem with somebody emulating. It's just not something I'm really into. I think there are definitely ethical and moral dilemmas there, and it's not right to steal. You shouldn't steal. Yeah. So, so. But uh, if you do, it's not a big deal. I think a good example is Super Mario 64. I played that physically. I have it physically. I played it for a long time physically. I started playing it on emulators because it was just easier. But I had it. I bought it already. You so bought it. You paid for it. Who it's cares? Yours. Yeah. And then I started playing it on Nintendo Switch Online because that was easier. So the wherever is the easiest, I'll give you my money if it's easier. Yeah, if it's easy, I'll give you money. Yeah. Did you ever have those friends or that friend where you would go to their house back in the PlayStation One days, and they would have the binders like you know people keep I binders of CDs. I hate, yeah, I hate that. And they're all burnt CDs. Oh yes, <laughs> you're just flipping through the burnt CDs. That was me. <laughs> yeah, and you would just write like the game on them. It was oh, so with the games? No, no. Really? I had a I had a friend who would do that to Dreamcast. That was it, because Dreamcast was the easiest. This was so difficult to do. Yeah, explain you've been, that. You've I've been, been working about for that. a while. I, I just got it on. My um my switch ID is different from my DS ID. Oh no. So I had I put 50 bucks on my switch ID. Yeah. And then I put I, I had to make a new Nintendo account to link this to it, because you can't link two IDs. And then it was asking to merge the two, and it didn't. And I put another 50 bucks on this one, so go for it. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll use the 50 bucks. I'll buy Kirby. No. I wanted to buy Kirby anyway. The Kirby on so, that? No, no, Kirby on for On your Switch. Switch. Yeah. What do you yeah. want? Why do you want, why do you want Kirby? I, I like that game. Return to Dreamland? I'm sorry. Okay. Well, what are you playing? I, like, you okay. look so sad. 50 not, bucks is too much. The Pokemon game. games are 10 on here. Well, buy whatever you want. I, what do you want? This is your 3DS. By whatever you've been talking about. I find it informative. You're getting, you're getting dark <laughs> void. <laughs> um, I, I've honestly, I haven't played video games maybe three months. And now I've been playing Mario Luigi Superstar Saga on Game Boy Advance. That's a good one. I'm literally getting you dark void. Okay. No, I was really, I love the GB. I have not had a chance to play anything. Oh, it's so good, dude. The only, the only thing I've noticed you guys would find interesting is when the Switch is docked, there is a very slight delay from the Joy Cons because that's all timed stuff mm. on the on the attack uh, attacking mechanics. There is a very slight delay on there the is, Joy Cons. There is a substantial delay for Game Boy Advance games. When it's yes. when it's when it's when the Joy Cons are plugged in, I'm almost having no problem. But I notice it has to be like that's a interesting. Couple milliseconds off. Yeah, I noticed. I'm, yeah, I it's noticed it. Pretty good with the time stuff. The first time I played it, I noticed the delay, but then I. I was playing Mario, and you know, I'm, I I know when there's a delay. Yeah. Uh, and then I played it again, and I didn't really feel anything. But I thought maybe I was just getting used to it, or maybe it's because I started using a wired controller. My f but my first ever Joy-Con, not my. Let me rephrase this. 
a Joy-Con of mine for the first time died the other day. And by that, I mean the right bumper just stopped working. Right bumper stopped working. The oh, right button. Have you ever shell swapped or anything? No, that's my that's my white OLED one. It's technically my newest Joy-Con. Oh my God. It died? Like, what yeah, do you mean? it like, just stopped working. I don't know. It won't work anymore. Have you dropped it? No. Well, I mean, maybe, but not that it not. It, maybe the spring not that just I got noticed. dislodged. You should open it up. It's still clicking. It just uh, it just doesn't work. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing. The button just died. What were the other games? <laughs> Run run off all of the games again. Oh my! You just want to buy him something? Now I can't think of a game. To Dylan's buy. rolling armadillo man. I'm not getting him. <laughs> um, the Pokemon Bank and the Transporter. I don't care about that. The Rhythm Heaven, but Rhythm Heaven. Oh, Rhythm okay. Heaven is important. You should definitely get Rhythm yeah, Heaven. Rhythm well, it has a physical. Rhythm has a physical. No, no, no. I probably have it. I don't have any others on this list that have uh, that ha- that don't have physicals. So that's fine. I'm just Pokemon gonna get games. I mean, what yeah, about Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon. I don't care. What Pokemon? Do you want? What, what Pokemon Pokey do you man. want? We'll get it for you. Dude, it's my money, but you could do yeah, it. Yeah, no, I'll figure it out. I'm gonna Blue I'm gonna get you Rhythm Heaven. Okay. And then I'm gonna give you the three DS. <laughs> that's you a good can leave call. it there. It's good. It's, it's a good uh, decorative. Heaven. That's what I wrote. We should talk. PlayStation VR. Yeah, I wanted to say you you had your fr- look. Zim sitting in the coat that I put down there. Nice. Cute. I'm smart. Uh, your Joy-Con died. My freaking PlayStation VR controller is dying left and right. Can't handle it. Like as in the batteries? Yeah, too the short? batteries are too short. Okay. And you have to charge because, them one at a time because they give you one cable. I know. That's so. I hate that. Who's this guy? I. Don't know. Uh, and why is he on my eShop page? But you didn't have the issue where one of the Joy-Cons was actually dead, right? One of the... Sorry, the PlayStation VR Joy-Cons were no, actually dead. No, I just need dead. to charge it. But it tells you, battery's low, you need to charge it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Right I out- charge one, and then it says the other one's How dead. quickly? Like, how are we talking? Like- right out the box, they were dead for oh, me. really? So I, I had to charge them. I, I charged... I, right out the box, I took them out of the box, and they were dying. So yeah. that's just how it was. But then you, it yells at you to I've, charge I've been each one. At review, like, what do you guys actually think of it? Is it good? Oh, we're gonna get into it. I don't want to spend $600. So we're far, get into it. I'm not impressed. Yeah, so far, I'm impressed by some things, but the overall package, I'm not super impressed. Okay. I, I played the demo. The first, first of all, there are no, there's no demo that comes with it. Mm-hmm. Like, the PlayStation VR 1 had, like, a demo Yeah, app. I thought that was really weird because yeah. they had an Astro Bot VR game that mm-hmm. was sick, and they could easily have just put that in for free. Yeah. If nothing else. Even even the PS5 came with Astro Bot. Yeah. As like a way to like to yeah. have you play around yeah. and experience. I was it. totally I, I made a video nothing. and I in the video I say I wonder what like the demo practice game is gonna be. Nothing. Yeah. They, nothing. The only they just have demos for a lot of games. Yeah. But like they don't have one that's like, here's your first experience. Like yeah. even the Oculus, you put it on first steps. That's the mm-hmm. name of the app. You play that and you're Picking up stuff, you're pl- you're dancing with this robot, and it's like cool. Yeah, and it's I know, like that's whoa, because nice. that's what VR is. It's an experience that you go, wow, I did a cool thing. Hey, mom, check this out, and you give her the headset. And she goes, yeah. oh my god, that robot's scary. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen you since you were like 15. <laughs> I know it's crazy. <laughs> what else happens? <laughs> anyway, here's the here's that guy. This is just a guy at E3 he playing. He just said his name. He, he said who he was. was Eric something. Eric something. At E3 2016 playing Rhythm Heaven. That's the first thing that comes up okay, on here. Okay, well. Anyway, $30. You're getting it. Here's why, 50. here's why I'm a little unimpressed by the yes. PSVR, uh, the second one. It was $600. Yeah. The Do You got it with the guy? With the, with the with guy, the yes. Thing? I got it with the, the, the Horizon so game. So that's 600 Yeah. Well, what's it no, without the that? Game? It's fifty. Five, 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 could be like five fifty. So yeah. it's like so five hundred and fifty. The game is fifty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell me, did you play the game? Yeah. Tell me all about Poopy it. Poopy Smoopy. Yeah, it's not good. No. It's. N- I've only played the demo. I'm climbing You're- for twenty minutes. I know. I have so much to say about so many elements. Okay. Where do you want to start? Because I want to start with me- that game because that's what I did. Let's start just with the game, but remind me to go back and talk about why I think the price is, is a bit egregious okay. for the for the okay. unit. Okay. <sighs> Can you look up the price, or someone look up the price of the Quest Two headset? Yeah, just so it I know. It was three hundred. Yeah, isn't it like what two fifty? And right now, now it's like four hundred, three. Yeah, they raised the price. Oh, of it. Yeah. Like yeah. which the is kind of ridiculous. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pin in the game. I want to get this first. Okay. So the Quest Two is three ninety nine. Yes. Four hundred dollars. Yes. It comes with everything you get with the PlayStation VR Two, right? You get two controllers. You get the headset. The difference is with the Quest Two. You get an onboard system that plays games remotely. Yeah. The PlayStation VR is six hundred dollars, and there's nothing in there because it plugs into the PlayStation and uses that. So yeah. theoretically, why isn't it the same price, if not 
cheaper because it's not better made. It's very uncomfortable to wear. So, yeah. And there's no speakers. That's really annoying. Stupid. This is what I hate the and most. The way, so, so what I liked about the Oculus Quest, I got it sent to me and they gave me Logitech headphones. Mm-hmm. First of all, without the headphones, it sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it sounds fantastic. That's one of the things I just got. Just with the onboard I got audio. a lot of criticism because I did a sponsored video with Oculus mm-hmm. Quest. And uh, I said that it sounds really good without the headphones. I like and it. And a lot of people were like, that's bullshit. It's just because you're sponsored that you're saying that. No, it no, does no, no. sound really good. It's good. And I'm not being sponsored. Yeah. Even the AR glasses we took a look at recently mm-hmm. had pretty solid audio, stereo yeah. audio coming from above the ears. It's binaural, right? So it's supposed, it's supposed to like vibrate along your along your temporal lobe. Look, I, don't I, don't I don't know how, how it does it, but like when I'm playing Persona 5 and I load it up, the intro scene has surround sound of like a yeah. police siren going past. And when I'm wearing those glasses, I can hear the siren start here and yeah. go behind me. Mm-hmm. And that's with nothing plugged into my ears. So for $600, yeah. why do I have to plug in two crappy little yeah. earbuds? And you have to use theirs. I know. Because there is a headphone jack, but it's in the back. And it's, it like clips in. Yeah, it like clips in weird. It's not with the, a good With setup. the first PlayStation VR, I had to wear my big HyperX headset over the top of the VR to get audio because I was not, but this, I, I haven't tried that yet, but it looks too clunky for me to yeah, actually wrap thing. my headset around. Can, the audio sucks too, can I say? It's this bad. Little, it's the, bad the audio. Are bad. It's so uncomfortable. They kept falling out of my ears. They got to like call Raycon or something to figure <laughs> out that because that is actually a cool thing about Raycon. And the other thing is they're corded and you have another cord coming out here. So sometimes, especially if I don't realize I've got this cord over this cord and I turn my head and this cord gets tight, it like yanks the earbud out of my ear. It's also hard. Ah! It's hard for all of us in this room because you have long hair and you, it gets caught in yes. the hair. <laughs> I have to tie my hair up when I play yeah. because there's once I put the headset on, it's like my hair is here and I'm like trying to get in the headset. Yeah, to every like time get it's getting the- caught in my hair and stuff. It's bad. Oh. Can you use the Sony wireless headphones? Those that, I'm sure you can. I would imagine you but, be able to. But it's got to have like a like a divot or something. What I'm what I'm wondering is like, would there be a delay on that as well? I don't. You have that's peripheral. So that's the. Th- I mean, if it's a gaming. I don't know headset. about that. Should, like the right? Izon headset or whatever, or or the one that you have, the gold. I, I have the actual. Sony. That you should be yeah. able to use because that shouldn't have any delay. I mean, yeah. it's going to have lag, but, but it think, shouldn't have as much because it's a gaming headset. Yeah. Think yeah. about this though. How much stuff do you need on your head? Yeah. Yeah. Like you've already got this big clunky headset. Now you've got to, you've got to put earphones over the so top. For the Oculus, That's why these are so nice. What, Just the little on board. Uh, sorry, oh, I know yeah. this doesn't explain much. Yeah. The little onboard uh, speakers to whatever mm-hmm. to play. Also, another really nice thing about it, other than it does sound great, I believe you, Hi-Fi, sponsored boys for life, okay. is that if somebody else walks in the room, you don't you don't get so scared oh that God. you jump and hit your head she on the ceiling. She was trying to talk to me a bunch last night while I was playing it. I was like, what? You gotta, and she just leaves. <laughs> it's like, I'm not the dealing on, with this, this right now. This is so good because it is all encompassing and it's like you get transported audioly to wherever you're going, but yeah. it's it's so weird because if Kim walks in the room and she's like, "Hey, I can hear it so clearly," and I'm yeah. like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I'm playing." I'm VR. not immersed with the PlayStation VR at all. It's not it's, at all, no. dude. I, oh, God. I'm I'm so glad that I asked because like I've been seeing reviews and they're like, "It's great," and they do the unboxing and then everyone, you know, they all do that boxing where they topple it on and just the whole thing falls out. <laughs> that happened to me. Did that it too. all fell out everywhere. I, 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 did and not I was like, me. I was like, I already don't want to get this. And then when I saw the price, I was like, I really don't want to get this. But like, you guys just, I'm not getting it. I literally well, was not going to get it. Well, I, I was saying like, oh, it'd be great for the studio. Like you want to bring it to me. But like, yeah. I don't, I'm not. I did not want trip. it. I do. I was not going to buy it. And then they, and then they emailed me back and was like, you want it? And I was like, if you want to give it to me. <laughs> I do have some, did you get the orb? No, oh, I, I was a little upset. Kevin Kenson got yeah. this got big like old. Pokeball, PlayStation yeah. Pokeball. That was cool. Oh, yeah. But I'm also like, yeah. where am I going to put that? I got no room yeah, for I know. something like that. I do have some good things to say about it. But can, def- can I just say, you said it's uncomfortable. Yeah. It is a little weird, but they tell you in the very beginning that you have to wear it pretty high. And I kept having to tell myself that because it doesn't feel like it should be that I high. I kept trying to shove it down my face. Yeah, no, you have to wear the top part that goes on your forehead has to be pretty high. That's so strange. And the back has to be pretty low. Because I've, I, the reason why I kept doing that is because I felt like I couldn't get the goggles close enough 
yeah. forward to my face. Yeah. I felt like I was having the same issue with the glasses where I was having to like look up or down too much. Yeah. And another thing, I, I've got to keep comparing this to Oculus because yeah. it's really the one I have the most yeah, no, other experience I think with. Quest 2 is the closest one to this anyway. Yeah. What I like about the Oculus is that you can see down your nose. Yeah, I know you can. And like, I know they're trying to be more immersive, but- They've really tried to black everything They blacked out. it out. So like, I can't do, like I'm, I put on the headset and then I'm like, okay, I have to hit record now. Wait. And I like can't <laughs> hit the button because I can't I will, see. Well, there's the little button. No, I mean like rec- on my external recorder. I got I got a lot. Like oh, I want to look at my phone. Maybe somebody texting me. I got to take the whole headset off. But if you too. press the little button, it does see through. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. It's like an AR and it's, thing. it's actually. Pretty but I don't think sick. you can see a screen the, with that. I think the screen is just. I think you can. I gotta try. I, I think had, you can. I had every. I stopped after like I got a I got a free Rift S and I stopped after that. But I've had the Vive. I've had the dev kits for the Oculus. The Rift S was sick. But like, uh, is. Does it have like obstacle avoidance? Like if you go up to a wall, yes, yeah. there's will, a mesh. Will it, it come comes through? Yeah, there's it's the mesh. exact same. Even the room setup is almost identical to the Quest room. Yeah, setup. it is. You even have to like touch the ground. And it's like the same pattern. It's the, very. The only similar. thing that I like, I do like the setup of the PlayStation. Let's get into the things we like. But I want to finish. The last thing okay. is just why is it 600? That's yeah. my. That was my final point. When the Quest that, does a lot more, it's high resolution and stuff. It does have, and that. it's Sony. That's the only but how does the how does can you can someone Google Quest 2 versus PSVR 2 resolution yeah. and Hertz. Hertz are very important. It, it, it does, f- doesn't does feel that. it does. The PlayStation VR does not feel much higher resolution. It doesn't feel much higher. No. And I played the original PlayStation VR and it was very low resolution. And I, I would get sick playing some games. I think that they... Some games do a really bad job about the way that you move around the world. Yes, and I was it's always game by game. I was explaining this to you, and you were telling me that uh, some newer game, like you were telling me about, I think, a Battle Royale, and I was like, mm-hmm. how do you move in it? And you were like, with the joysticks. And I was like, yeah. oh, I don't know if I could do that. And you were like, no, if it's high resolution enough and high frame yeah. rate enough, you won't get sick. And they also do techniques where in that game specifically, because it's so fast paced, yeah. when you're moving really quickly, they really bring the vignette. Yeah. They really bring it in. So you have more of a tunnel. They try to do and that a, with... Uh, the the Horizon Forbidden. Whatever they the do it. Game is. That is a technique that most games do. Yeah. And in Horizon, you can turn it off if you don't want it at all. Because some people find it distracting because it does make the edges black, and you can now see that you're almost looking through a tunnel. Yeah. But it is shocking how much it removes the motion sickness yeah. because your eyes are just dumb, and they're they're easy easily uh, able to to tell themselves, I don't know what I'm saying. You said my name. I'm just watching a picture kind of thing, yeah. as opposed to when you free it up, it, your brain almost thinks, I'm looking at reality, but why is reality so slow and clunky? Oh mm. my God, I'm going to throw up. So, so I didn't get sick playing uh, Horizon, but I got really disoriented a lot. And most of it was because you're walking around with the thumbstick. Please tell me you didn't walk around like this. No, no, no. Did you try it? I tried. I, I, cause I, so stupid. I, so I did the whole tutorial with the thumbstick, and then yeah. I was like, I don't like this. Let me try to switch to the gestures. And I switched to the gestures. It wouldn't tell me how to use the gestures. So oh, I was really? sitting there going like this, and it wasn't doing anything. This game is the dumbest way I've ever seen a game have you move. You hold buttons on either stick. And then you just go like this and you move forward in the game. Oh my God. So the whole time I'm, you're I'm going glad, like this. Um, Cause I thought maybe that would be less disoriented. No, it's so stupid. So, so what here, let what, me tell you let, why. I ask, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ask a question. Do you do snap turn or motion turn? What's the, what, what's the difference? So when you, when you're going, when you're moving around freely, that's all normal. Right. But yeah. when you are lo- like looking with a stick yeah. left and right, yeah. does it move smooth or does no, it, it snaps? Snap? Okay. It snaps. Is there a setting for that? There is, but the smooth is what's going to make you sick. Okay. The, the snapping well, helps. Here's what made me disoriented the most was yeah. you're walking, you're holding the stick, and all of a sudden, tutorial menu, and it stops oh, yeah. the whole world. And the Ooh, world, yeah, 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 I the know. world yeah, does yeah, yeah. not work like that. I know. Phys- it's physically impossible for you to come to an abrupt stop like that, even if you're moving so slowly. It, so, it, so you're walking, yeah. and then menu, and the whole world stops dead, yes. and you just... But I, I feel it in my knees, dude. It's, my legs get weak when that to happens. To put it into a comparison for someone that wants to explain what that's like, imagine you're going 60 down the freeway and then someone pulls that handbrake and you have just stopped. But, but, but if you're in a car, you have all of the momentum of the car and you're skidding. No, in but the, I mean like this, you have stopped. The whole world stops. Yeah. And it's 
fucked. It's, yeah, it's, it's a weird. It experience. throws your stomach. Yeah, it's like oh god. I I really I keep bringing this up with Oculus. I played Vader Immortal and I liked that a lot. Yeah, it's good it's because good that's game. a game where you it, it's like room scale and you like teleport. Yeah. So like that didn't make me sick. The th- parts that almost got me messed up in Vader Immortal was the climbing because you're grabbing mm-hmm. and you're pulling the entire world around you <laughs> and you're grabbing another one and you're pulling the whole world down. Did you find it a little better in Horizon? No. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it was all. It was probably worse. Do you have those comparisons? Yeah. So um, the display re- resolution per eye, the Quest 2 is 1832 by 1920. Pretty decent. It's pretty amazing. The actually. PSVR is two thousand by twenty four. Okay. So it, it's 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 a Every, little bit better. Everything helps. Trust me. But the Quest Two is LCD. The PSVR PSVR Two is HDR OLED. Ooh. So it, has a it big did. Difference. I will say, it was very clear, very vibrant. Yes. And you get, finish finish your last refresh thing. rate for the PSVR Two is ninety hertz or one hundred twenty hertz. Quest 2 is 72, 90, or 120. And then on the bottom, it says limited to only some apps. Okay, that's so, interesting. So it's variable. At that yeah, point. and this there's is, more power in the places you're yeah. for sure. No, I wouldn't say a great deal, but everything does help when it comes to getting motion sick. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think the biggest thing to help with motion sickness is the way the game is developed. Yeah. And the yes. Way, and, and VR is very tricky. Oh, so for years, say. they've still never figured out locomotion <laughs> in VR games. Game. I want to go so many directions with it. Can you remind me to come back to the the OLED part? Yeah. Someone remind me of that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, every time I have a friend check out VR and they plug in a game, they get motion sick the first time and they're like, oh, I can't, I, I, I return the VR. I'm like, what did you play? They're like, oh, I played GTX Racing or something. I'm like, yeah, you played like a car game made by, That's why made by who? That's why it's important that it needs to come with yeah. a demo. Yes. And like, this is the best experience. You're going to pick this up and you're going to use it. The headset can do what the headset can do, right? Yeah. But it's up to the developers to develop their games in a way that's not going to make you feel motion sick. Whether it's the the things they implement, like the vignette, or how well they do it, or how smooth their turning is. Weirdly, in Horizon, when you put on smooth turning, try it when you get home, but be prepared to turn it off immediately. It's like you can't go very fast. It's like this. Oh. So like I'm trying to turn, and I'm like, oh god, dude, I, so you, you're making me want to throw you up. You do need to turn and when it's you're blurry. You need to turn when you're climbing. Yeah. And you need to use the thumbstick. Invader Immortal, they made the levels so that you don't have to turn your head that much. You just go in a direction that's within your vision. It's developed so that you don't get disoriented. I will say about that, though, is the climbing in that game, while fun, was very rudimentary. It was very basic. Yeah. This is very interesting climbing because you've got to, like, climb a rock, and now you've got to, like, grab this thing, and now you've got to, like, go on a wire, and you can, like, look down. Yeah, but you're sitting there with the thumbstick going, this sucks. Why am I playing this game? Why am I looking around with a stupid thumbstick? Well, that then goes into Horizon itself because Horizon, the VR game, to talk about that for a mm-hmm. second is a tech demo. It does not feel to me like a game. I was really hoping to jump into like the world of Horizon in VR. It is so extremely linear yeah. with look at this fun VR thing you can interact with for a little. Like it's it's really for people's first time in VR teaching yeah. you like, oh, you can paint on the wall in this part. Isn't that fun? Like it yeah. doesn't- the, In the demo that I played, you come across this table that has a, a plate, like a like a jug, a tambourine, a tambourine yeah. that doesn't work. Like no, you pick it's up really the tambourine awkward. and it makes a sound, but you can't hit it. My hand, <laughs> my left hand got stuck in it, yeah. and then I went like this, and I'm like, "Where's my hand? Oh, there it is!" And it snaps <laughs> to it. It's so weird. Uh, did you manage to get to the first fight? Yeah, that is where it ends. The demo ends right after that. That and is I was, where I was thankful. I realized this game was not the game I was hoping it would be. So a part of what I was excited to do in this game is to fight things, yeah. right? Fight the, the mech creatures with my bow. When you get to the actual fights, you get removed from the freedom of being able to go around whatever you want to do, look around. And it snaps you to a circle rail in an arena. Yeah. And the enemy will like go to attack you in one spot and you have to press the left or right stick to dodge left or right. Yeah. 
aim, dodge left or right, and you don't get to freedom, look around. Or do, and I'm, I was like, oh, this is... Oh, it's locked? It's locked. It's locked, oh. yeah. It's really big. It's all a tech demo. It's all this That's one so little shit. set piece to the next set piece. I will say it is a gorgeous game. Mm -hmm. Usually with VR games, when you record footage and try showing someone, like, this is what it looks like before you play it. They're like, oh. And you're like, no, when you're there, it's so much nicer. This game, the recorded footage, looked like a New Horizon game. I was yeah. like, wow, this looks sick. What were you going to say? The one thing that uh, PSVR has that... What uh, time are we at? Oh, you're at an hour 20, bro. You guys have been going. Oh, my God. Well, we got to end. That's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, we got to end this. Gonna, this we might bleed episode. into the bonus. Let's wrap it up. What are right. you saying? The only thing that the PSVR has is eye tracking. Yeah, thank you. The eye tracking is very good. That was sick. The eye tracking is very good. That was actually a really cool feature. So... That's what I was going to say about the screen, actually, is the screen is so much clearer and nicer, and that has a lot to do with the OLED and everything. But also, I never felt like I could get the right position with the Quest 2. I never knew where the best place to be would make it less blurry. The PSVR 2 has eye tracking, and when you're setting it up, it actually tracks your eyes, and it tells you the best place to put it. Like, move this dial, do this dial. And when I yeah. did it, it was like, your eyes are right in focus. Setup, and I was like, wow, yeah, they are. The setup was fantastic yes it was really great. cool i loved it so and, everything and a, looked great that's after a that. problem with the quest too is that uh it's blurry a lot of times yeah, so you, have to, you have to have it perfect yes and if you give it to somebody else that they have to adjust it places mm -hmm. vr makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. it, it it never felt blurry in a way that was a pain in the ass to fix can you do it with glasses can you wear glasses and play i don't know how that i don't know i have no try idea. that because that's that's also super interesting to. If um, I think there's yeah. something to do with the way you move it further and back is like a focusing type okay. deal. I'm not sure. It was really freaky having it track my eyes too. Because after yeah. you're done setting it all up, it gives you a screen with a bunch of little music chimes yeah. around it, oh. and you just you just stay still and you can look at them and they'll start chiming. That's crazy. That was really cool. That's actually some really cool tech. But even with that tech, you know, the Quest Two having the onboard, being able to play games, essentially a switch on the go. This using the PS5 for backing for its power, I don't understand why it's 600 yeah. when the Quest is so much cheaper. for. Well, the Quest, they more. had to raise the price. They did have to reason. raise it because it was only 300, which is even more wild. Yeah. Um, the, to finish the conversation, I guess, just with the controllers themselves, they die quickly. Um, I kind of think they look cool, but I don't know why they put a halo ring around the back because it's kind of clunky. And yeah, I've seen people with really sense. big hands have a hard time fitting in. Yeah. Like John Riggs has a video where his hand is so beefy that he, he can, he's, barely, he's he can tall barely fit it in. And then when he tries to use his thumb, it gets like stuck on like the top. Yeah, and it's as, a poor design. As far as I can see, there's it's, no it's, reason it's, for it. It's the overdesigned PlayStation. It is overdesigned world. Like they they are trying to look like spaceships for some reason. Mm. I don't understand. So it. if you have big, and, meat you know why? Paws. It's because it's literally just a Quest controller. It's the exact same thing. So they they're like, how do to, we make it different? They wanted it to look different. Yeah, I do like though. And I don't think you can do this on Quest 2. On the Quest, so everything's sensor pressured on the controller. So if you're holding it and then you bring your finger up, it knows you're you pointing. You can do that on so the Quest. So you can do finger guns. It does that on the Quest. Because it knows, and you don't have to press the button. It just knows your finger is yeah. like ready to press it. On That's the, the first thing I did in Horizon. The, I was like. On the PlayStation oh, okay. VR 2, they, are, they have it with this finger too. So you can do peace as well. Yeah. And like, I don't know, it's a small thing, but like when you're in a VR game and you're stuck in a screen and you're just doing finger guns all the time, yeah. now I can do peace everywhere too. <laughs> and like up you as well. <laughs> it's That's what VR is. It's just cool little moments like that where you're like, oh, cool. I feel like I'm immersed in the world, but the, that's it. The, then you put it away I and know. it collects dust. The best VR game I have still played to this day is Half-Life Alex. Yeah. Uh, no Man's Sky is up there because these are experiences in VR that are full-fledged. There's a game on PlayStation VR 2 right now called After the Fall, which Biscuits and I have been playing. And it's essentially left for dead in VR, and it's sick. I would recommend. And you can all take a those. quest and plug it into your computer and play high performance games like Half Life yeah. Alex and stuff. Yeah. You cannot buy a PlayStation VR and no. plug it into the computer. You need to plug it into a PlayStation Five, which is five hundred dollars. So you can only play what's well, limited on the PlayStation. Right 5. now, Quest Two is well more worth your money. It just depends on what exclusives they bring out for this thing, and I think they will have some really cool things down the line. I think that they've given up on it already. Because why don't they have a it's demo? It's been a week, Bob. Yeah, I think they gave up on it before it even released. Because they stopped. They, I think they said they were like stopping production on it or something. They like uh, announced something right before launch. They were like, "Ah, eh, launch wasn't that great. We're gonna." If you want to get into launch. VR, Quest Two is a much better use of your money right yeah. now. It has a huge library and so many good games. Yeah. 
That's that. God, we, yeah, we let's have end. a lot let's to get do out today. Of here. Uh, get away from me. We had a long get one, a long one in person, which usually doesn't happen. Thank you all for watching. Again, please check out the sponsor trade, uh, tra- drinktrade.com forward slash Nintendo. If you want to watch even more of us today, we're about to do a bonus episode, which you can see on Patreon for the low price of $5. You'll get 41 bonus episodes. That's not what I'm doing. I'm playing Rhythm Heaven. You have missed so many episodes if you haven't seen these. There's one where we played Valorant. (laughs) <laughs> there is <laughs> that's arguably the worst one <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play dark void i forgot about dark void uh and Even also I just mentioned it check out the ago. merch you can still get the sweaters you can still get the shirts we love you guys we appreciate you rate us five stars uh, okay i love you Apple, bye-bye itunes like comment subscribe follow tiktok for more soap videos <laughs> see you next time <laughs> watch the world burn imagine i actually ended with that like a full-on screen my eyes go white and we cut to like the the, tra- music, the, video, the music video of like so everything upset. burning down. I'd be so upset. <laughs> All right. In order to load this game, blow dust off the cartridge. Oh no, you just press A. <laughs>